Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to open one of these disposable Marlboro promotional butane lighters. It's a flint spark lighter, I believe from the 1990s. Came in a multi pack of cigarettes or maybe just with a pack of cigarettes, something like that. So no real purpose here other than I'm just curious and want to know if they will still work right out of the box. Or I say they, I'm only going to open one of them right now. thought the adhesive holding that blister pack intact might have been a little bit weaker by this point in time, but it was not. It's a nice printed graphic. They're on this plastic case. Marlboro man wearing a vest, leather work gloves, and it looks like he has a lasso and maybe a saddle thrown over his shoulder. He does have a saddle thrown over his shoulder. There's the stirrup. Same graphic on both sides. This is a DeJeep lighter. I've seen that name before, but I don't know if I've ever owned one. As we've talked about often, I don't buy these kind of lighters. I'm not opposed to using anything that anybody gives me, but I am opposed to the production of plastic and other plastic items there's just no need for it the damage that it does to the environment especially when there are perfectly good old petrol lighters made of durable metals just lying all over the place anyway it's a butane fueled lighter that I don't believe you can refill I think that is sealed off. It's not a valve. Although I'm sure somebody has figured out a way to put a valve in one. It's marked Marlboro on both sides of the windscreen. This is preferable in my mind to a piezo ignition. There is an adjustment here on the end with the burner. We're going to leave it just as it is until we test it out. So it lit there on the second or third try, but not very Turn it up. Well, turning it up didn't do anything.
I suspect that it has leaked out all its gas. If there's no way for it to come out this end, then there's got to be a seal on the valve up top, and at that point it must have failed. We're getting good spark. It was turned all the way down and actually lit. So there you go. I would not put the De Jeep brand in the same category then when it comes to old plastic lighters as I would Bic and Scripto because those Bic and Scripto from the 90s I have found them in heated attics and basements and all kinds of places and they always light they never leak their fuel. But while this lighter initially lit, you saw it, some remnant of fuel there. That must have been all it had. Just enough to give us a glimmer. I read a story by someone in the OTLS newsletter a while back and it may have been a very very old newsletter sometimes I'll just go back and browse those about a young man who showed up at the OTLS convention one year with a vast collection of big scripto type plastic lighters and was kind of laughed out of there. And the point by the person who wrote the article is that there is a place for every collection. And I agree with that. Just because I don't think that plastic should be produced anymore doesn't mean that I don't think there's a place for these vintage items. Even one like this that is obviously not working the image that this on the shelf might strike to some people might be every bit as nostalgic as that of a Zippo or Ronson or Thorns or any of the other lighters that make the rest of our hearts jump when we see them. Until next time.